Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 2.2, 1, chapter is whole number of class 6. The question is, find the product using suitable properties. So we have to use the properties and solve it. Now here, we, if you see, we have a two, two numbers uh, which we have to solve, we have to multiply. So but what property we have to use? So we have a commutative property, distributive property, associative property, but we have to solve it. So commutative property and all, if you uh, do it, commutative property is different, we cannot use it. Closure property, we cannot use it. So here we're gonna use a distributive property, right? So distributive property means you ha you're gonna multiply. Like suppose we have A into, we have a number like B plus C. So you have to distribute it like, a will get multiplied with B. You're opening the bracket, okay? A get multiplied with B. So it's A into B. And there's a plus sign here, right? So put plus sign. And again, A will get multiplied with C. This is called distributive property. All right, we're gonna uh, use this property to solve these questions. Now, how to do this? Now, here we have only two numbers to multiply. So let's write down the number. So 738 multiplied by 103. So I'm going to split this 103, I'm going to use a distributive property. So this is equal to 738 multiplied by, this 103 can be written as 100 plus 3. Now why I'm taking 103, why I cannot take 738, I can split something plus something. Because it is not, we can do it, but the multiplication will be um, difficult. 100 plus 3, multiplying with 100 and multiplying with 3 is much easier, right? That's why we're going with this number. Now multiply the 738 by into 100. Okay, so like like I showed before, we're gonna use a distributive property. Multiplied by 100. We have plus sign, put plus. Now multiply the 738 with 3. So 738 multiplied by 3. So this is equal to, we'll get 738 followed by two zeros. Plus 780, 738 multiplied by 3 will gonna give us 2214. So add this two. We'll get here seven six zero one four. That's it. Now we're going to do the same thing for the second question. Now here we have eight fifty four multiplied by one hundred two. So we're going to split one hundred two again. So eight fifty four multiplied by this will be hundred plus two. So multiply eight fifty four with hundred. So eight fifty four multiplied by 100 plus multiply again 854 with this 2 so 854 multiplied by 2 so this is 85400 zero zero. so when you multiply 854 and 2 you will get 1708 now add this 2 so you will get 87108 that's it now the next one that is problem C. So here I'm not multiplying. I hope you know how to do the multiplications. If I do the multiplication show you, it will gonna take a lot of time to solve. So I'm, avo I'm avoiding, I'm just directly writing the answer. I've already multiplied them. So I'm writing the answers directly. Then the next one. It is problem C. So here we have 258 multiplied by 1008. Same thing, we're going to split 1008 here. So 258 multiplied by 1000 plus 8. So open the brackets now. Multiply 258 with this 1000. So 258 multiplied by 1000. Put this in a bracket. Plus again multiply this 258 with 8. Yeah, this one. So when you multiply with this 1000, you will get 258 followed by 3 zeros. Plus, when you multiply 258 with 8, you will get here 2064. Now add this 2. You will get here, two six, this is a big number, 260064. Now, that's it, the last one. Now, in the last one, I guess you, you can think of which number to split here. We have 1005, 1005 and we have 168. So, we're going to split 1005. It will be 1000. Okay, let me write down the questions. We have 1005, 168. So, 1000 plus 5 multiplied by 168. Same thing, multiply this 168 with 1000. So, we'll get here 1000 multiplied by 168 
put this in a bracket that plus sign then 5 into 168 so this will be 168 followed by three zeros so when you multiply 168 with 5 we'll get 840 now add this two so it will be again a big number 168840 so I hope it is clear how we are solving it. We are using a distributive property. Always split the numbers which are in a easy to multiply like 1000. We have everything in 100 and 1000. Split those numbers. Uh, you'll, your calculation will be much easier. I hope this question is clear. Now in case you have other question from this chapter or from any other chapter, you can drop a comment. I will try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.